roommate. Roomie. Roomie. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. You know it's not ladylike for me to barge into your quarters without permission, but if I must, I must. I can't let you be late for your first day. I've heard that rumor mill spins something awful about each and every fine young lady who even so much as sneezes wrong on her first day, let alone commits the dark art of tardiness. We can't be late. Now from who did I hear that from? Why the, the rumor mill? Oh, I see, I see the problem, oh dear, oh dear. Dear is right. Your hair looks like Ella's Raz took a nap in it. You know, Ella, right down the hall. Peculiar girl, fell asleep by the fireplace last I saw her. Maybe a little bit too much to, um, well, it seems to me that, uh, <laughs> somebody should have attended the new student mixer if she was wishing to have just about any hope of finding a good click before they were all scooped up. Luckily, I don't consider it very princess-like to abandon our old friends for the sake of the new, so I thought you could join me until you feel like you found your people, whether that's with me or without, but you know what I said about princess-like and old friends. I'm basically ready to head out the door anytime you are, but a princess that's going to take on the world, make Make differences, commit to social change, certainly can't do all that in pajamas, so I was thinking, what if I help you get ready? Not like overtly fuzzy, then made some old lady levels of pampering, I'm just one little princess after all, but you know, I could pack your school bag or brush your hair. Pick out what you wear, that sort of thing, you know, it's, oh, it, it, it's nothing, really. I just think it would be fun, and we do still have an hour before breakfast is served. Well, I'm sorry, Sleeping Beauty. I thought you might want to rise with the sun so you could be just as prepared as you need to be for your first day. I mean, it's mine, too, but, well, what can I say? The rumor mill has begun its terrible turning, and I've heard a thing or two about you as one of the less well-known royals, and just, gosh, the thing that happened to Catherine on her first day, all because she was new, is just... Nightmarish! She became great. In spite of all that. Let me tell you, let me tell you! Uh, okay, I'll, I'll pick something out while you get all freshened up! Though, uh, perhaps you should freshen up your dorm room a touch. I mean, I heard that he spent all of orientation week in here, but... That's certainly not enough time for flowers to die. After school. A after school? We we might have to have a little talk about roommate etiquette and... And what's with all the bats? I didn't know this school allowed pets. I'll have to see if Mom would be willing to bring biscuits and jam in some time. Just, just to roam about. Ooh, maybe we can make a day of it. A posh pet. Day of it! I think that sounds grand! Ooh! I didn't know you had dresses like these! Then again, I guess moving in was sort of a slog, especially considering we're all only granted one personal maid if, if we can spare them. I think they just say that to make the counts and countesses feel less self conscious, you know? I mean, Royal Academy and all, but who would we be if we 
Ooh, this one should be whiz bang. Very Antoinette core, which, like, I think enough time has passed, and, like, ugh, you know, which could make it a very hot vintage item if paired with the right accessories. I mean, I know what I said, but the things I heard can make religion look relic, you know? Look, Rumi. Rumi! I'm just... I'm just worried for you. We're both new, but you... You! Your, your family doesn't seem to have a lot of connections in the big social circles, you know? Where it really counts, and without anyone to advocate for you on your behalf, nobody's going to accept you. Naturally, you know this, of course, but you have to do that heavy lifting, too. I think it's the princess thing to do to help you, but I think it's the queen thing to tell you that you need to advocate for yourself if you're ever going to have any hope as a ruler. And I've heard that where you're from, you're gonna have a heavy crown to wear. I mean, daughter to the Raven Queen of Prophecy? The one who rules the Badlands with a gnarled iron fist? Heavy crown, heavy shoes. It all sounds so... heavy. I understand why you keep to yourself so much. You... You have to. The people who would get it have already accepted this life as a slog they must tom their way miserably through until they die, and the people who don't get it get stuck on words like Raven Queen and Badlands and Gnarled Iron Fist. I, I, I think it's an image problem, honestly. 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 If you want people to like you, you have to try to be likable. It's hard work, but it's honest. Everybody wants to be liked, and I... Hmm, you... You have a lot of black, which might send a dour mood for the first day, so, uh... How about I pick something for you from my wardrobe? No, really! My treat! Really? Really? My... My treat. Nothing a little loose stitching in the waist can do for a little size readjustment. I, I'm quite handy with a needle and thread, if you know what I mean. I mean that I'm handy with a needle and thread. Not everything is two-timey double talk. Oh, you take everything so seriously. I know you... I mean, I mean, you have to, but... <laughs> oh, that should be good. I've only seen you once, and well, whether you're getting your four dozen eggs or not, you are just a dad, but... Ah! Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I only like to gaze upon you when you're... You're... you're, you're... <sighs> just get dressed, and I'll, I'll... I'll fix up our school bags in the other room, okay? Okay? Okay, okay, I'm just... A, so, so sorry, it's... I'll pack your box. I'll pack your box. I'll pack your box. I'll... I'll pack your box. I'll pack your box.